This week I ordered the brand new Ninjago sets and today you're gonna build and review them with me. Okay. Let's do this. Alright, we're gonna open the box with Kai's Golden Sword. Let's start with Eren's off-road buggy. There's four minifigures, Eren, Cole, a wolf warrior, Cinder, and there's also Ryu. Everybody was on. You see, there's three bags, the instructions, stickers, and four yellow and blue wheels. Okay, now I gotta lock in to start building. In the first bag, we get Baby Ryu and Harry with a strange looking weapon. To make the car, we're gonna use this plate. I like the different colors used in this set, it makes it more fun to build. You have to use these technique bricks so you can later attach the wheels. And it's also where the engine is. Now we'll open bag number 2 to get Cole and the werewolf guy. Cole got his new crime pursuit that looks real nice. I like the details on the mask, almost looks like a samurai. Back to the buggy, you have to add these two parts to the front. With these two swords, this yellow piece that looks like a rail and the orange windshield. Finally you get to the third bag that is filled with air like a bag of chips. Nah, seriously, I don't know why the bags are empty like that. Anyway, let's just open it. We're gonna use the wheels as well. First, we have to build Cinder. I mean, this guy already looks like a villain with his haircut, his sword, and his mask on his face. Also, his headpiece is transparent. For Erin's car, we're gonna need this piece to make it bouncy. We're gonna use these hooks and attach it to a chain. I don't know why yet, but I'm sure we'll find out in the show. Oh yeah, and let, let's not forget the stickers. Now we get to the tires. This car is straight out from the Lego Batman movie. The wheels make it look like the Batmobile. And I mean, it looks good. You can fit two people inside. And I like the suspension of the buggy, because it's bouncing. There's two stud shooters. Also, how is Erin driving at like 13 years old? Who let the kid drive? Next, we got the young Ryu Lego set. There's three minifigures, Erin, Sora, and a wolf masked warrior. Let's open it. There's two bags, the instructions, and stickers. In the first one, you get Erin, the wolf, and a part of Ryu. Bag number two, you get Sora with an accurate hairpiece. Final. We've been waiting for this Lego piece for almost a year now. We had the first one with the hood, the other haircut from her childhood, but now we got the real one. Oh yeah. We have to put stickers on Ryu's limbs and connect the pieces together. And now he's ready to fly. Are you sure about that? Actually, I think they're too heavy. Y'all eat too much noodles. You were supposed to bring some lunch back for me. Bruh. Are you serious, my brother? <laughs> Without the wings and the tail, Ryu looks like a dinosaur. The third Lego set is Kai's Ninja Climber Max. He's been getting a lot of Max recently, and they all have been really good. In this one, there's four minifigs, Kai and Jay in their climber suit, Wildfire and Jordana. The box is pretty big, so allow me to open it. There are six bags, the instructions and the stickers. In the first one, we get a brick separator. And the two first minifigs are Kai and Jordan. It's the girl that has a beef with Sora for no reason. You took everything from me! Kai has his new climber wow. suit. And you have to build a flying device for Jordana. Yeah! Now let's build Kai's mech. Ooh. We start with the buddy, where the fire ninja is gonna sit. And we have to put fire stickers. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen! Next, there's technique bricks to attach on the mech, and I like how they specify that you need to hear the click sound. Okay. So that's the torso. For the second bag, you get more technique parts, and you also have to hear the click sound. After finishing this part, I've noticed I got it wrong, no. so I need to start over. This piece was upside down, but now we can finally connect it to the mech. Next, we have to build the legs and connect the red bricks together. You need to put the stickers and in the third bag, we can build wildfire. Surprisingly, she only has one face print and since her fire is also blue, I'm gonna mix the red and blue pieces. Now we can build the robot's head. 
Hey, what next you that? have to use these metal pipes. You're gonna use them for the other part of the legs. Now that this is done, we need the feet. But first we gotta build Jay's climber suit. I like how they included Jay in these sets, even if he's not in the season. But I still wonder when he's gonna come back. Also, Jay, you better hurry up, man. Okay. okay, now let's build Kai's feet. I like the building technique, because they are really solid and don't come off easily. But the best part is to connect the pieces together. The combination with stable feet and the mobility of the legs is perfect. I've never seen a Ninjago make so stable. It can even stand up on one foot. Why no way, boy? Boy, no way, boy. For bag number five, you're gonna build the arms and the hands. More stickers. I think this means fire in Japanese. It's also the letter K in the Ninjago language. We do not care. This mech also has two swords. And I forgot to put the helmet. The poses you can do with it are sweet. Really one of the best mech. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's not forget the last bag to build the extra arms. Honestly, I prefer with two arms, but it's a climber mech, so. There are two hooks to climb and a rope. They added more Lego Technic parts. The two arms are a bit different. And now that we've finished building, Kai is ready to, to climb. This final set that I bought has Master Laloid in it. Nia, Kai, Master Wu. Long before time. Frasia, the new master of wind. <coughs> and Raz, the tiger. There's a few play features in it, but let's just start building. There are 10 bags, and let's open up the instructions. With the stickers. In the first bag, we get Master Lloyd with a staff and shoulder pads. The staff is a bit too long though. You also need to give him a paper about some spin jitsu knowledge, I guess. Bro, he's turning into Master Wu 2.0. Long before time had a name, the first spin jitsu master created Ninja. Next, you can start building the base and add these blue parts for the water. There's even one with a fish on it. There are a few rocks to connect to the build and you also have to do this. Connect the two by four together. In the second bag, we get to build Raz with a drippy outfit. Honestly, it looks good in purple. He also has a new axe. You know this guy's an important villain when you see his drip compared to the other ones, just like Cinder. There's a little play feature with these Technic bricks. The 2x4 plates again. You have to cover it with rocks and place them on the rest of the set. And now, for bag number 3, you'll have to build another part of the base. Add more water to it. More building. And more details. So that's the first part. Next, you'll have to use this long Lego part and basically build a wall around it. But since it's a bit shaky, you need to use these pins to make it more stable. Next, you have to create these scrolls that look like bottles, actually. But it makes more sense when you put them in the shell. There's a small candle on the side if you want to burn them. Then there's the top of the shelf with a tiny golden minifigure on it. Wait, is that Lloyd? The Lloyd? You add more details and rocks to the build until you get to the fifth bag, where you can build Nia. It's her older suit, but you get full weapons. It's a mix between a trident and Raphael's weapons in Ninja Turtles, so it looks nice. Getting back to the actual set, you have to build this tree that, that reminds me of a previous Lego set. Bag number 6, there's the fire ninja holding a fire sword. You add floors and furniture to the tree so Master Wu can read there probably. There's also this weird Lego piece I've never seen. What is that? In the next bag there's a seal that literally looks like the Millennium Falcon. You put this big stone on it and attach it to the tree. There's another place with more books and tea for Wu. 
In the 8th bag, you get the brand new character. It's a good looking minifigure. She has a hood piece, just like in the show. Anyway, it looks cool. She also has a staff that looks like the same one that Loki uses in Avengers. You can also use the hood for Lloyd because it goes well with his suit. After that, there's more building, a poster, Bruh. and we're starting to expand the tree. In the next bag, there's Wu in a new suit that kind of looks like the previous one, but more golden with tan, a gold hat, and he kind of looks like a Jedi. After Master Wu, you have to build a waterfall with these blue pieces and a huge stone face that is throwing up the waterfall. In the last bag, there are a lot of leaves. There are different shades of pink, also white flowers. But first, you need to make the branches and then put them on the tree. Looks sad without its leaves. Guys, I have a theory. And finally, the best part, you add the flowers and the leaves. There are a few flowers left, so I'm gonna place them around the set. It has a vibe to it, with the tree, the clear water, the waterfall, I don't know, it's satisfying. There are good many figures too, I think this version of Wu and the Master of Wind are exclusive to this set, for now. But yeah, it's a great set. In recap, Erin's buggy is a nice set with good minifigures and the possibility to put two characters in the car. But um, I don't think it should be 50 bucks. Kai's climber mech is one of the best I've ever seen recently and it's incredibly stable. The one with the waterfall and the tree is really fun to build and to look at. But which one is your favorite? 